side. Well, good afternoon, team. Good afternoon. Have you decided on a name? What can we call you? Your insurance brokers. Team, your insurance brokers. Okay. The presentation format today will be that there will be a five-minute executive overview in which you must touch on all the salient points of your of your presentation, uh, and uh, that will be followed then by a 25-minute presentation and discussion with the client. Good afternoon, Adrian. We were notified by one of your factory managers that there was a fire at your premises. We have notified your insurance of the incident. They have immediately appointed a loss adjuster. And they have also... Uh, Excuse me, um, I need to stop you here, Karabo. Um, what I would like, uh, my wish was, and I also said that this morning, is that you give a five-minute uh, executive overview and you'll address the judges for that. You are busy getting right into your discussion with the client. Okay, we'll start again, but please, this, this time, please get it right. Good afternoon everyone, thank you for meeting with us today. Uh, we were notified of a fire claim at uh, the insurance premises and we would like to basically take you through what we have done uh, so far with that specific incident. We also, uh, have rea we also realized that today, tonight is the eve of the renewal of the policy and in light of this claim it is important that we also uh, touch on that aspect of the renewal discussions. We would also like to, to talk to you about some of the services that we will provide and some guidance that we will provide uh, post the claim. We will also uh, look at, take any questions that, and any concerns that the client may have and uh, take it from there. Right. Uh, Mr. Adrian. Uh, can, can I just ask you, um, you were appointed on the 1st of December. It is now the 12th of January. My policy expires tomorrow. If this claim hadn't happened, when would you have come to see me and why did it take you so long to come and see me? We sent you a, a letter and we've also had conversations notifying you that we have already looked at uh, alternative cover for you where we had arranged uh, some savings for you. However, in light of this incident, we realized that this will impact the cover that you have and it may affect the manner in which this claim is handled. And that is the reason why we came here to, to have this urgent meeting with you. What we're dealing with is that it's the most traumatic day in my life. Yes. Now please tell me, what is going to happen to the injured people and how is my insurance going to assist me in that? Mr. Um, Adrian, we are extremely sorry for the fire incident that took place this morning. We called the insurer, notified them and asked them to send their trauma counselling unit. Now wh where do I have cover under my liability policy for injuries by my employees? So we will definitely make sure that in terms of your cover uh, that is, has just, been taken. Just, can has you been just taken. answer my question please? Do I have cover? You have emergency evacuation costs and I'm not injuries. talking about the evacuation, and listen to me. So I, I, I am talking about people that are injured and that the hospital wants 450,000 Am I covered for that? And if so, under what policy? And do I have an excess? You, you certainly will be covered, sir. Under uh, what for, section of what Under your, your, your liability section. We will just verify the exact uh, details from your current policy. I'm asking you, and I'm going to ask you for the last time. Where do I have cover for the medical expenses? for people going to hospital and the medical expenses that they're going to incur. COID is not covered under your insurance policy. Um, it is paid to a, it's more of a government um, uh, organization wherein you pay in a sum towards for your employees and for injuries that they incur whilst they're on duty. Now I believe that those claims take up to four, four years. Now if a COI claim takes four years, who's going to pay for the people to get medical attention? Can I assume, therefore, that I do not have cover for the injury sustained by my employees? If you, if you give us a few hours, we can get into contact with your current insurer and ask Which them... Which one? Assets, liability, your, motor? Your, your assets insurer and ask them. I have this half-wit loss adjuster who phones me and he tells me I must act as if I'm uninsured and I pay 10 million rand premium. Why are you not on the scene? We can assure you that 
uh, we have a clean specialist on site and we are looking after uh, the, the damages that are there. We have also arranged uh, alternative premises in the interim to ensure that you continue. I must tell operations. you that you don't install me with a lot of confidence. Can you just give me some good news? What is going to happen to my policy that is going to expire tonight? There is an option of, of approaching the other underwriters, the alternative underwriters, and, and trying to obtain terms from them in light of the new claim, but we don't recommend this option at all. The second alternative that, that's available to you is to renew the policy for a further 12 months with your, with your existing insurer. And um, the, third, the third option would be to extend the policy for three months and then we can then do a full exercise after the three months and, and do a full renewal exercise again for you. My sing, single biggest client um, put in an order and now I won't be able to fulfill that order. So we are currently looking for alternative suppliers where we can subcontract that order too, but we want to assure you that your business interruption policy, uh, should this order be cancelled, it will, it will cover you for the loss of income. And that's all going to be paid for? Yes. And, and now tell me if, say, the alternative supplier charges double, how, well, how much of that is the insurer going to pay? Will they pay double? The, like I said, we will look for alternative suppliers. We'll yeah, but now, okay, you've now found, you found have, sorry, yes. listen to me, yep. please don't interrupt me. Um, you've now found an uh, alternative supplier. The alternative supplier charges double. How much will my insurance pay? So, Adrian, you currently have business interruption yep. on your policy document, which yep. covers increased cost of working. I cannot at this moment tell you whether they're going, if the insurer is going to pay the full double amount, but we can definitely get back to you on that. Yeah, well, I'm um, Thank you for your time. Sorry, Mr. Andrew, before you go, can, can we get your um, decision on the on what you'd like us to do with the renewal? Extended for three months. Extended for three months. If our team were to lose, honestly, I right now I would not be able to just oust someone or from the top of my head be able to eliminate anyone. I think that we've worked so well together um, and we've been able to understand each other and respectfully understand each other's opinions even when we were in disagreement. So um, it would be a very, very difficult decision. In this instance, and only because I'm being pushed for the answer, um, I would have to say that it would be Garabo. Well, with uh, Richard being voted off yesterday, it made me realize that there isn't any one person who is safe in the competition. And I realized that I also have to learn very quickly. If our team was to lose today, uh, unfortunately, I would, I would have to, to propose that Priya be voted off. Uh, Richard being evicted definitely, you know, gave us gave us all uh, quite a big wake up call. You know, personally, I, I definitely had to rethink and and look at look at what I was doing and and how I, how I was competing and 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 what I brought to the party and what I brought to the show. If if I was forced and I am forced to 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 put forward a name from my team to um, to leave the show today, if we were the losing team, which I don't think we will be. I would have to say it needs to be Selena. So how has the removal of Richard impacted me? I'm very grateful and thankful that my team did win because if my team didn't win, I would definitely question the fact that all four of my teammates could have potentially be gone today. Well, one of us at least, and that's myself included. So it's definitely um, encouraged me to... Um, be much more bolder. The, the person that I would choose to eliminate should my team lose today uh, in task two would be Karabo. With losing Richard, it did not enforce me to changing my strategy. I still maintain my current strategy, which I enter the competition with. Um, when strategizing, one person does not change too many um, goals or visions but rather as the, the competition proceeds, we look at it and maybe do a few changes, but your overall view, holistic view, needs to maintain the same. Should our team lose today, the person I would opt 
to leave the competition would be Unati. Well, being the losing team on task one uh, got us all firstly nervous, particularly when my name was mentioned, uh, but it turned out I was safe. Uh, almost gave me a heart attack. In a team, you really, really um, build up relationships based on trust. Um, so th- this is really very difficult. I think we all equally contributed, but without wasting time, I think I would let go of Chris. With Richard being eliminated yesterday, I must be honest with you, I was really shocked. Uh, initially, I thought he was a strong contender, but having thought about this last night, he may have wanted a lot of airtime. I think that may have counted against him. I think a lot of people have um, gone back last night to the room to think about exactly what the judges are really looking for. The loudest person is not going to win the insurance apprentice, um, and the person that speaks a lot is not going to win the insurance apprentice. If we lose, uh, I would have to pick Unati. Come inside. Well, apprentices, we're here for the end of the second task. Uh, I'd like to start off uh, by um, asking, uh, firstly, on my left hand side, Boyo, uh, for some feedback. I, I can honestly say that uh, both teams lost their count. I don't think you did very well at all. Both of you were so determined to go through your agenda and your notes and your presentations and your rehearsals that you were not listening to the client. And there was a lot of guessing, which for me that's not acceptable because that's the feedback we gave you yesterday. Taking over the conversation and wanting to have the more say in the team dynamic does not really guarantee you a place here. It doesn't really necessarily make you a leader. Uh, but at the same time, saying nothing at this, it also uh, means there's nothing we can evaluate about how you contributed to this area. Right, Ria, from your side. I think that both of the teams did absolutely terribly today. Um, And if I could give you some advice to take away from this, it's practice, 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 because you walked into an ambush. I thought it was good that both teams did get a renewal mandate, so one half of of the mandate today you did achieve, which was the renewal mandate. Do not be afraid to tell a client when they haven't got cover for something. Saving your team member, absolutely, particularly your team here, okay, you should have jumped in earlier to save Carabo. Um, likewise in your team as well, I think you needed to stop Unati earlier on. I think overall I would agree it was a very poor performance by both teams and, uh, and I know, you know it was a very difficult customer but there's absolutely no excuse for you guys having repeatedly heard before your presentation that five minutes for an executive summary and then 25 minutes for, uh, for a, a question and answer session or meeting with a client. You guys just didn't get it at all. That to me was quite disappointing. You know, we kind of assumed when we spoke about executive summary that you, you guys would know, you know, given your experience and, and, uh, and uh, the number of years that you've spent in the industry. To me, it's unacceptable that there are simple issues like increase in cost of working versus additional increase in cost of working. As one example, there were others, okay, where you as experienced people couldn't cover it. Okay, so in summary, all told, not a great performance by either team, but uh, we had to make a choice and we have arrived at a choice. And uh, therefore, you know, I can announce today that the winning team is CIU Insurance Brokers. Okay, that uh, leaves us uh, with uh, the losing team and the tasks that we have to perform. Uh, basically by telling uh, one of the team members that they will no longer partake in the Insurance Apprentice 2016. Uh, And that person is... Prayer. It was a very good experience. Um, It's a lot of coverage of the insurance industry um, and I enjoyed the exposure. Uh, It also makes you um, move out of your comfort zone and explore different uh, facets of the industry that you haven't applied to. So I'm not really disappointed so much because I think that a lot of people are specialists in what they do. So we concentrate on more of of the specialist skills that we focus on. So um, all in all, it's a a challenging experience um, that I enjoyed.